When you run out of things to accuse white people of being racist of, just invent some new shit. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you white niceness. <laughs> White niceness as a tool of white supremacy. Fuck off. Anyone with a hint of grey matter would not buy into this bullshit. For fuck's sake, if you hate white people, just say so. <laughs> you don't have to invent bullshit just to hate us. Again, as I've said many times before, it's not racist to hate white people because black people can't be racist. But of course I have a video to make, so let's proceed. Did you know that most white people have mastered the art of niceness? Have you noticed how she was able to talk without moving her lips? Oh, uh, that's because she was talking out of her ass. It's 100% fake, phony, and disingenuous. Talking about yourself again? Oh my god! The absolute corrosive, caustic hate dripping from this woman. Deciding the intent of others based on innocuous behavior? I'm all for you displaying your prejudices. Go for it. Let me explain. Okay, but I'll know if you're bullshitting because thanks to people like you, I now know what crack smoke smells like. It's a conditional niceness based on how well you perform for, coddle, and pander to whiteness, white supremacy, and white people. Let me guess. A black person or a non-white person is guilty of doing all those things if they happen to disagree with you, right? You're, you're fucking evil. Basically, as long as you don't make them feel uncomfortable, don't mention white supremacy culture, don't challenge them in any way, call them out on harmful behavior, or talk about racism, they'll perform this fake niceness for you. What? What are you talking about? So generally speaking, a white person will be nice to you if you don't accuse them of being racist? Look... <laughs> If a white person's being genuinely racist, then by all means, call them out on it. But you see, the problem is, the bar for what is considered to be racist these days is so low, you could probably trip over it. I mean, you could probably see me as being racist simply for disagreeing with you. Hmm? But as soon as you break the code of niceness, you better watch out. The white tears, harassment, abuse, defensiveness, name-calling, threats... Okay, let's break some of this down. The white tears. Ah yes, the uh, white tears fallacy. The idea that if a white woman cries, then all of society will come to her aid. Yeah, it's as bullshit as it sounds. Harassment. Harassment. Hmm. Everybody knows that what you call harassment is simply leaving the comment section turned on in any video that you might post. What I'm saying is, I think your definition of harassment is as strong as a wet cake. Abuse. Much like with your coining of the term harassment, I don't think I could trust your definition of the word abuse, because to you it's very likely to be someone just disagreeing. Defensiveness. If you accuse a white person of being racist, what should their reaction be exactly? To just accept it? If I accused you of being a child molester, would you not defend yourself? The premise here is that if a white person defends themselves, then that's only more indicative that they're racist. Or that they're evil in some way. But it doesn't work the other way around. Name calling. Really? Name calling? You really want to go there? Mayo monkey. Snow roach. Cracker. Whitey. All of those anti-white racial slurs are completely permissible, by the way. But, um, well... <laughs> and uh, as a side note, if name calling really is that bad, then get the fuck off the internet and maybe don't go outside either. Threats. Now, of course, if anyone is actually threatening you, then of course I, I condemn that entirely. Just don't go just sweet smollett, all right? Calling the police on you. Anybody fallaciously calling the police on anyone else, I obviously disagree with. However, if you do crime, and making false accusations against you, to name a few, will be thrown at you almost immediately. Hmm. Coming from someone who endorses the idea of white niceness? 
Look, I'm not saying that white people haven't mistreated you in the past, but it's obvious that you just hate white people. Why have you not got the spine to just fucking own it? The problem is many white people have been taught to weaponize niceness as a tool of white supremacy. Bullshit. Of all the bullshit things I've ever heard in my life, that's the most bullshit thing that's ever bullshat ever. It's, it's bullshit. You mask your anti-black racism with niceness because you want people to think that you're a good person and that you can never be racist because you're so nice. Lies. I don't give a fuck whether or not I'm seen as a nice person. I don't give a fuck if people think that I'm anti-black. I don't care about any of that shit. You see, this is where society has fallen. Everyone is just far too concerned about being seen as nice and virtuous in the eyes of others. The moment you stop giving a fuck about any of that shit is the moment that no one else can shame you into their way of thinking, as is clearly what this person is trying to do. Another way you weaponize niceness is by making anyone or anything that is not nice, according to white supremacist culture standards, your ultimate enemy. So, of course, talking about racism is considered not nice in white supremacy culture. White supremacy culture? No, no, that, that, that's enough. If there was such a thing as a white supremacist culture, you would not have been able to have made that fucking video at all. Much less you would have stayed up on any kind of social media site. Just admit that you're a racist fucking bitch. I swear so much more honest discourse could take place if people like her would just admit that they're racist against white people. <laughs> My God. And like I've said many times before, the only reason why a person would say that they can't be racist towards white people is so that they can be shitty towards white people and face no repercussions or consequences whatsoever. Prove me wrong.